Anna, do you understand about user interface design? I'm not so I didn't know about this. Mm. Mm. I think we can ask someone to help us about user interface design. I think so. There is Nadia and Azwa. Hi Nadia! Hi Nadia! Hi! Hi! Hi guys! Hi! Where you want to go? Can you help us? We want to go to the library. Hey guys, what's your problem? I have a problem about user interface design. Yeah, we don't understand about this. You can explain to me. Yeah, sure. I can explain. For your information, user interface design is the first task in the system design based on the CJLC. Designing the interface is extremely important because everyone wants a system that is easy. Guys, can you tell me what you're doing here? Uh, we're doing a discussion about user interface design. Oh. oh, can you tell me about guideline user interface design? Yes, sure. Design guideline, a set of recommendations toward a good practice in design. They are intended to provide clear instructions to designer and developer on how adopt specific principles such as intuitiveness, learnability, efficiency, and consistency. <laughs> Do you know user interface design stand guidelines? Oh. oh. First, make everything the user needs readily accessibly. It is a series of design tools for web design application. The inventory for character in a video game are spreadsheet or anything else. If the user can find what they want, they bounce off your software. In DVTab, I use to organize all the tools you need. If you use WordPress, the admin toolbar gives you the ability to quickly get to the post. Editor team customize the plugin setting and so on. Another example is PowerPuption. And every DV module, we have the support button available everywhere on the top of the Our Hope window pops up with a video tutorial on whatever feature you are working with. By including this in, Model DV become far more accessible and less frustrating. 2. Be consistent. Do not have the menu on top of one page and at the bottom of another. Do not wish menu item every time it's load. Make sure that your user know where things are on your site. Consistency also include your font and design from page to page. Additionally, you should make sure that your user interface is proper for platform desktop site. Make different needs than mobile site for menus, galleries, and even product checkout. Third, be clear. Clarity means that you want your user to know what to do at all times. People are not confused about the purpose of any site or page because there is no clutter. One way to achieve clarity is not to move from one step to another on different page. Instead of having a checkout process, scroll down the page, have your user navigate from a product page to a shopping cart page to a checkout page just like Amazon. They will know exactly where they stand in the process eliminating any uncertainty. Feedback. The last thing users want is to not understand what is going on. If they press a button, provide indication that the button was pressed, loading icon, provide feedback without having to say it. If you allow users to upload files, give an indication of time remaining providing a pop-up or model that tells them their action was a success reduces frustrations and confusions. Why? Use recognition recall. You want your users to recognize everything about your site. When they see, 
if you should not have to think about it and recall the information more than anything you are streamlining your interface so that every part is sensitive and moves from one point to another. This can be done by using recognizable icon you may also be able to accomplish. This truth well, please messaging that remind is your users what on your site does what. Number 6. Choose how people interact first. You know what's the worst pushing on a pull though, especially when you just push on previous one to get to that one that and buildings designer made the user interface inconsistent. So you had no clue how to do what you need to do. What about pressing something that looks like a button that is not but waiting for a response anyway? Well, that's because those designers did not take into consideration how their users were going to interact with their product. 7. Follow design standard. People know that question might indicate help, so do not use inclination point. If you want user to find your mobile menu, use hamburger icon not a click thing about search bar. They tend to be in similar place on most sites. So if you had put in a hard to find spot, user will not know where to look. There nothing wrong with thinking outside the box, but they should not mean the design is hard to use. Number X. Elemental hierarchy matters. You want to make sure that the most important function are at the top of their respective pages. This kind of hierarchy can lead the user down the page organically making use of white space. It's also important as clutter can stall user progress and draw the eye away from the purpose of the page. Clean lines, lots of space and well-defined elements can visually indicate to your user how to move through your user interface without any documentation or annotation. 9. Keep things simple. Take a look at these two examples. Both are contact forms to make a request. One of these is no problems to fill out why the other is just a bit more of a head edge your job is to make things as frictionless for the user are possible and one of the best way to do that is to cut out anything that's not absolutely necessary lastly keep your user free and in control the last thing you want to do with your user interface is to make them feel confined or restricted by the design. There are two parts to this rule, contest and permission. First, whatever ads the user needs to take should be located near what they want to add on. If they need to edit a post, the edit button should be near the save publisher, submit preview button. Additionally, your user interface should always make the user feel as though they can get out of or revert any action they take doing this can be as simple as adding a castle button to every page of your e-commerce checkout or maybe it's just an under feature so they feel that experimentation is okay so there you go those were 10 rule of good user interface design